Um, I take my way. Uh, dear Professor Grönros, uh, lieber Herr Stein Altenkamp, lieber Herr Löhler, dear Professor Vargo. On behalf of the University of Bayreuth, the Faculty of Law, Business and Economics, and the Foundation for International Management in Bayreuth, I would like to welcome you uh, at the University of Bayreuth to the symposium Serm Service Dominant Logic. Good afternoon. Um, you see, I'm not, uh, it's not my field. Good afternoon, dear fellow colleagues, dear members of the Foundation for International Management, dear students, dear guests. I would like to welcome our colleagues and guests who came to Bayreuth and are in Bayreuth to attend this symposium. Unfortunately, it was also already mentioned, my colleague Herbert Boracek, who organized this symposium, cannot be here today because he recovers from surgery. He really would have loved to be part of this event and he sent his greetings to all of you. But he's uh, mm, on a good way to, <laughs> yeah. The Foundation for International Management Bayreuth was founded in 1994 with a purpose to promote the internationalization of research and teaching in business and economics at the University of Bayreuth. International guest researchers have been invited to the University of Bayreuth since that time. In lectures, seminars, workshops, and symposia, they exchanged their thoughts with academics, students, and practitioners. This symposium marked the start of the new focus series of the Foundation for International Management which is dedicated to the topic service science. Uh, the new focus uh, series is already the third. One, two, three, uh, the third uh, in a row of series which provide the framework for the invitation of international guest researchers. The core and the highlight of each focus series is the control of the Ludwig Erhard guest professorships to an internationally highly recognized and reputed researcher in the special field. Uh, you find a slide here. Okay. <laughs> um, it's a great honor for us and an excellent start for the new focus series uh, that four outstanding researchers agree to be part of this symposium. And in, it's my pleasure to introduce these four keynote speakers to you. Herbert Voracek's idea to organize the symposium on the topic of service dominant logic is not really surprising. In 2004, an article entitled Evolving to a New Dominant Logic for Marketing was published in the Journal of Marketing which is considered as one of the most important journals in the discipline of marketing. To publish in the Journal of Marketing is certainly an outstanding academic achievement. Beyond this, this article is outstanding. It has probably been one of the most influential articles in marketing theory and marketing research within the last few years. The article itself, as well as the following debate, has con certainly been a greatest contribution to the advancement of theory in the field. The two authors who succeeded in inspiring the academic discussion are Stephen Vargo and Robert Lush, I hope. It's great honor, uh, honor to us that one of them is here today uh, to share his thoughts with us, Steve Vargo, distinguished professor of marketing at the Schittler College uh, at the University of Hawaii at Manoa, correct? Uh, okay. The great contribution of the 2004 Journal of Mar Marketing article is probably best documented by the fact that the article is the most cited article in the Journal of Marketing in the years 2004 to 2006. After the publication of the first article, Stephen Vargo and Robert Lush in 2004 
There was a controversial discussion about a shift in paradigms in marketing from a good, goods dominant logic to a service dominant logic. As a consequence, numerous papers have been published on the subject and Stephen Wagner and Robert Lush developed the ide their ideas and got a number of articles published on, on that topic. In 2006, the two co-authors published the book The Service Dominant Logic of Marketing, Dialogue, Debate and Directions, which summarizes a number of articles on that issue. In addition, to their, in addition, their research became one of the most uh, popular issues to be discussed on academic conference, research, colloquia, like our symposium here today. On the service dominant logic website, you find that service dominant logic is mindset for a unified understanding of the purpose and nature of organizations, markets, and society. According to Stephen Wago, the servant service dominant logic is not a new theory. It rather involves and builds upon a number of theories that have been discussed and used in marketing before. Consequently, one of the major contributions of C Stephen Wago's and Robert Lush's work is probably putting these theories together in a framework and thus providing a basis for a general theory of the market and marketing. Let me now come to Mr. Grönros. One of the concepts that is involved in the service dominant logic is the notion that value is uh, co-created with a customer. Especially in Europe, researchers in services marketing have embedded this notion in their work for quite a long time. For example, Christian Grönros in the year 2000 stated, the focus is not on products but on the customer's value, creating processes and the focus of marketing is value creation rather than value distribution. Dear Christian Grönros, welcome to our symposium. Christian Grönros is professor of service and relationship marketing at Honken University uh, School of Economics in Helsinki, Finland. He is one of the early developers and most highly recognized researchers from so-called Nordic School of Service Marketing. The central assumption within this school is that the interaction between the service providers and the customer should be the focus of all marketing activities. For this reason, relationship marketing is at the heart of research in the Nordic School. Christian Grönro's outstanding contribution within the field of relationship marketing is manifested by the fact that two of his articles belong to those articles most downloaded, downloaded among the articles on the publisher's Emerald website. One of them goes back to the year 1994 and is entitled From Marketing Mix to Relationship Marketing Toward a Paradigm Shift in Marketing. This shows not only the long history, but only the long-term impact of these thoughts. Therefore, we are very proud that Christian Grönos is here today to give us some insight on the service dominant logic from the perspective of relationship marketing. Professor Michael Klein-Altenkamp. There is a, also a very long tradition of research on services marketing and management in Germany. Due to the importance of this area in research as well as for management, the University of Bayreuth was one of the first universities in Germany to install a chair for services management in 1997 with Herbert Voracek. An intensive discussion about the nature of services and the differences between goods and services has been going on in the German marketing community community in the 1980s and 1990s. One of the main outcomes of this discussion was that there is a, that there, that a clear distinction between goods and services is not possible, but also not, not necessary. 
Rather, there are, two, uh, there are some characteristics of goods and services that should be taken into account when developing marketing strategies. This school of thought is well known under the label of Leistungslehre and was mainly developed by Hans Engelhardt and his colleagues Martin Recken, Felderbäumer, and Ma uh, Michael Klein Altenkamp. So I'm very happy to welcome Michael Klein, uh, Klein Altenkamp in our room. Michael Klein Altenkamp is now Professor of Business and Services Marketing at the Freie Uni University Berlin. He further developed the thoughts of the Leistungslehre and will today talk about the service dominant logic from the perspective of the resource processes outcome approach. Hmm. From, uh, I turn now to um, Helge Löbler. Uh, as Steve Vargo mentions, service dominant logic is a lens, a mindset through which phenomena can be viewed. Our last presenter, Professor Helge Löbler from the University of Leipzig, will do just this and provide us with a view of a social constructivist. Constructivists maintain that knowledge formation is a generative process in which both consumers and providers are involved. Basing on Piaget's theory of learning and Karl Popper's ideas, the theory of sciences view will support Professor Löbler's discussion on the power and potential of servant dominant logic from a social constructivist perspective. So, last but not least, welcome Professor Löbler in our symposium. Dear ladies and gentlemen, once again, I would like to thank you all uh, very much for being here today, and I hope you're looking forward to the presentation of our four speakers. Thank you for your kind attention. I now uh, hand over to you, uh, Professor Stephen Vargo, for your first presentation. <laughs>